You guys, we are thrilled to be joined tonight by the fantastic cast and director of the highly anticipated film, A Nope, which opens in theaters and IMAX tomorrow. Please welcome to the show, Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, Brandon Berea, and Jordan Peele. Welcome, everybody. Hey. Congratulations you. on the film. It's fantastic. Jordan, I just want to start. What does it feel like? I know you had the premiere on Monday, and you get to see it uh, with a large group of people for the first time. This is an idea that's obviously been in your head for a long time. <laughs> is it very satisfying to see it with a large group of people? It is very satisfying. I, I love watching uh, these films with people. I love hearing an audience. And I also love it when you don't hear an audience, and you look over, and they're like, <laughs> like that. I, I, I love it. I get so much, uh, and it's, it's why I do it, is because I love this audience. And I'm just so, I'm so proud to be able to um, bring out three very sexy people before me. <laughs> so that it can yeah. pave the way, it can sort of lubricate the stage for me. <laughs> but these guys, these guys are so good in the movie that um, I, it, it, it was just a blast to show. Was that the first time, uh, Daniel, you had seen it? Um, all the way through? First time I've seen it finished, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, and it was, I saw it in IMAX, so it's way better on IMAX. So, like, <laughs> like, it's just like the sound and the rump, and it yeah. really helps with the suspense and everything that's happening, yeah. And of course, you know, uh, not to give anything away, but there are effects in the film. Mm -hmm. Like, you were doing a great deal of acting with things that were not there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was, was like two weeks when I had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I would look at the sky and like, you are a great. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> well, that must be what you have to direct yeah. somebody where you know what it's going to look like and they don't. Yeah. And, you know, it's like I'm talking to, like, Daniel's a brilliant thespian. This is an Oscar <laughs> award winning. So when I'm talking to, and he's been a. <laughs> you too. You too. Stop. Stop. I, I, my, my thespian days are over. <laughs> no, but uh, look. I, Daniel's a man of, man of few words, you know, but you just know he's understanding what you're putting down. Yeah. You know when he's understanding. He's just, mm-hmm, yep, yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so oh. cute. <laughs> and it's sort of, you have this shorthand, but when you have to be like, and yeah, and yeah, you're looking at a flying saucer, and he's like, hmm. <laughs> so come again? You know, it's like, it really is a whole different process, because he's used to looking at somebody in the eyes and talking to them. But, um, you know, the reason we, the reason he's so perfect in this role is because you know, Daniel's eyes tell tells oh, so yeah. so much of a, so much of the story. So true. Appreciate that. But also, it's Jordan. Jordan's I, I like Jordan's world. Like he's it's made a crew, unique world. So I feel like I understand his language. He's got his own cinematic language, and I I, I relish kind of like stepping into that and actualizing Absolutely. that. It would be very funny if you went to the premiere and everything that he told you you were seeing was the opposite. <laughs> 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 just like a weird, like sort of goofy animated deer. Like right. Duck. <laughs> yeah. Duck. Yeah, you're terrified. You're absolutely terrified. <laughs> to the core. Yeah. So uh, you, I know a lot of people, obviously, uh, Kiki, come out to this premiere. I heard you met somebody, a celebrity at the premiere that you lost it for. Honey, I lost it. So I grew up living for the Goonies. Sure. I, mean, I literally have a tattoo with my siblings. Goonies never say die. We literally live for that. <laughs> Corey Feldman was at the premiere, love. We wigged out. I said, Corey, my man mouth is in the building. I was so hyped. <laughs> now, hyped. I would imagine, yeah, give it up for Corey Feldman. Yes. I would imagine he was delighted to have this response from you. Is that safe to say? Yes, but I feel like, I mean, he knows. Goonies is a classic. I mean, the two Corys, rest in peace, Corey Haim. I mean, he knows. So he was just like... He might know, but I bet he didn't go out that night thinking, I'm going to get some real <laughs> Goonies love. <laughs> <laughs> He's, but he is a legend so for cool. this our generation, as yes. you know. And it is. There's, there's a lot of sort of reference points mm -hmm. that make that align this movie with, like, some just some of the big sort of adventure movies from the Absolutely. 90s and 80s. So he was like, it was key. We had uh, that Corey yeah. at our at our uh, opening. So I, you, uh, Jordan mentioned the chorus. That's what he lives for, seeing the audience reaction. When you're watching this movie for the first time, are any of you, as the cast of the film, turning to see the faces of other people watching? Are you curious? Always. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm that way even when I'm not in the movie. Yeah. I, love to, <laughs> I love to see what you think. What you, and the funny thing, the great thing about Jordan's films 
is everybody is always chewing on a million things afterwards. So me and my friends are in debates, like, what did you think? I don't know, did it happen? <laughs> what do you know? We always are trying to figure out what he really was saying. Yeah, I, I can't handle it. <laughs> it's oh, just, so you won't just, look at the other face? I, I, I won't. I won't. And then I go to the toilet. No. I always go to the bathroom. Like, I, I, for some reason, my bladder goes, oh, yeah, we've got to leave. Yeah. <laughs> I know that in, the note, in the notes kit on the premiere, I went to the toilet twice. I, went, I, I was like, I'm done. I can't. I, got, I, can't, I can't sit down. I, I get stressed out. I just, you just, you, you're so close to it. You're so close to it. So you're seeing it. You're seeing other details. You're feeling people react to certain things. Oh, I should have done that. It's, uh, it's a lot happening. Now, uh, I, I want to ask uh, uh, real quick, you obviously haven't worked with Jordan before. Yeah. How did this come about for you, Brendan? Uh, so I was, I think, the only person to audition for like one of the lead roles in the film. So you get a Jordan Peele audition, it's like, oh, snap. <laughs> uh, all right, it's about that time to like gear things up. And I was surprised that he was auditioning someone for a lead role because he can get anyone he wants in the planet. I feel like everyone wants to work with Jordan. So I was just like, all right, it's game time. And... It was cool because I brought something different to the table than what the script originally had planned. It was more of a quirky, nerdy person, and I brought this edge and Come heartbroken on. person that's kind of over things, you know? <laughs> you know I mean, by the way, you, crack, you have no idea. You know when you like, you know when you see something and you just, for whatever reason, it just hit, hits your funny bone mm. and you're just laughing till you cry? It was one of these moments where in this audition, like he said, just came in with a... <laughs> Just sort of a, a a a take on the character, and it just cracked me up so much. I was like, dude, I'm not, I did one of those like reality show things where you're like, well, I don't know how it's going to go, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but you've got the job, you know. Basically. <laughs> and uh, and it was just it was just one of these moments where um, you know we just had this real bond. We were like we were crying like babies. Yeah, I cried. Was you of, cried. <laughs> Like, it was just one of these yeah. moments, and uh, and then the energy he came in. I mean, watching these three work together, for example, is just one of the the joys of the film because they're 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 the balance is just one of those great teams. And then of course you add Michael Wincott, yeah. who's one of my favorite actors, and Stephen Yun, yeah. who uh, just takes on this really. It is a one of because uh, you know for me that one of the wonderful things about this film is it it is about people to some degree working together. Mm -hmm. And it came at a time where people weren't working together yeah. yes. because of the pandemic. And so it was so great to see actors together again and see obviously everything behind making a film. You had obviously worked with uh, Jordan before. How does he approach you? You know, after the success of Get Out, does he have to sell much when he tells you about Nope or? <laughs> he doesn't have to, but he did. <laughs> 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 so lucky. Uh, he spoke to me about a film a while ago, and then it, it went quiet. And then he came back. It was a pandemic, so I was just yeah. like in the house by myself. And then <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Peele's calling me. I'm like, pick up. And uh, <laughs> and then uh, and he he spoke about the film like scene for scene, beat for beat, over the phone. It was like a two hour and a half phone call. <laughs> and he was like, "What do you think?" I'm like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to process that. <laughs> when you watch the film, you'd understand it's like, it's, it's this and it's that and it's this. And I'm like, yeah, lots happening, man. Lots happening, man. But it was, for me, it was, it, it was just, it, it, for me, it was, it was ambitious you know yes. what I mean? and, and audacious. That's what I loved about it. It was just, oh, he's going for it. You know what I mean? And so I just respected that. And I, 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 I like to do that too. So I was like, yeah, let's go. You're a, a fan of horror. And you actually reached out uh, to Jordan in the past. <laughs> yeah. And this really paid off then, obviously, because here you are. You know, I never asked you, Jordan, because I don't even know if you look at your DMs. Did you even see when I DM'd you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, Jordan no. doesn't look at his DMs. But I DM'd you, man, right after Get Out. I said, dude, we work together on Kid Peele. So, <laughs> so after, after we had been working together for a, a couple of months, you, you brought up, and I think you brought it up thinking somehow that was a thing. You were like, you know, when you respond, when I DM'd you a couple years ago and you responded, I look, and all of a sudden I see this DM from legendary iconic Kiki Palmer, by the way. Yeah. Who I would, I would never, <laughs> I would never like, yeah. I would never disrespect her like that, but I legit didn't see it. And so, I, and so we're working together and I see this like, I would, let's work together someday moment. And I'm like, Kiki. Look! <laughs> it didn't even take that. I loved you anyway. I you should have you, responded baby. then, like right. while you were on set, and be like, great, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then oh, be like, yeah. something's weird. I think my DMs are just going through now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a, a million more questions to ask you guys about the movies. We will be right back with more from the cast of Nope.